there's something you can do to create a soulmate. It's I not, like the fact that we're teaching people how to do that same thing, how to create that same kind of relationship, how to create that soulmate connection. Then the sexual energy is flowing again. Then the love is flowing again. There was just a log jamming away. And when you clear those, there's something metaphysical that happens. You know, one of the things that I absolutely treasure about our relationship is our dedication to personal and spiritual development, yeah. both individually and as a couple. And if I bring something to you and I say, hey, this happened, I'm feeling kind of funny about it, I felt a little upset at the time, you'll always stop and think, what is my part in this? Yeah. Even if you don't have a part in it, even if it's my <laughs> stuff. But I like that we both take the time to do that, that that's an environment that we've created. And I like the fact that we're teaching people how to do that same thing, how to create that same kind of relationship, how to create that soulmate connection. There's a quote from Osho, I, I, I don't know it exactly, but it's something about that. And what I loved about that when I first heard it was that there's something you can do to create a soulmate. It's not some magical thing that descends on you. It's not some, I see him across the crowded room and we live happily ever after. That certainly didn't happen with us. <laughs> like, that married guy is not my soulmate. <laughs> and... um so there's something that you can do. So in our workshop, we teach what are the things that you can do to create a soulmate relationship, either as a single person so that you can attract a soulmate or as a married person so you can take your relationship as it is with all its warts and turn it into a soulmate relationship. I believe if you are together, there's a reason you're supposed to be together or you'd be apart. So you may be breaking up in the future. But today... There's things you can do to create a soulmate relationship. And those are some of the things we've touched on in this brief conversation, which is building more of a friendship, becoming more fully embodied, uh, starting to speak truth, starting to speak all the truth, having agreements in your relationship about speaking the truth and about um, being able to, to talk about something. Even if the other person's tired of hearing about it, why aren't you done with that yet? We have an agreement. We can still talk about it. Those conversations are tough sometimes. They yeah, are. It doesn't. Um, I certainly don't want to make it sound like it's something that's always easy. Sometimes they're tough conversations, but that's why we have an agreement because it's very easy to let something slide and not talk about it because it's uncomfortable. But it's going to come back and bite you if you don't do that. Yeah, and then there's that moment. And it's like maybe you're crying. It's so difficult. And then there's that moment when ah. Oh, it breaks through and there's a release and you're like, oh, we finally got to the crux of what that was. Then the energy's flowing again. Then the sexual energy's flowing again. Then the love is flowing again. There was just a log jamming away. And when you clear those, there's something metaphysical that happens. It's just, oh, the release happens in the space. And you're like, oh, and then it's all, then, uh, then you can breathe again. How, well, how would you say that? It's just... I would say you that. enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. I would say that there is a process. You said clearing. Yeah. Clearing. There's a process of clearing because that state, when you're really close and you feel really close to someone, you feel really loving, and that person's touching your soul, that's your default state. People are very invested in their story, so they think that that person did that and upset me, or this relationship is like that because this person is that way or this thing happened when um, a lot of times those are defenses that are coming up. Those are things that happen in past relationships. They're not real, I say, sometimes. Um, sometimes you need to get past those things and work things out in your relationship, and then those things sort of fall away. There's not as much that's upsetting. You don't want to argue. You don't feel resentful. You don't get angry. These things start to go down as your trust in the relationship goes up. As yeah. you do this work. Yeah, exactly. So it's a, it's an ongoing process, and it is a process of clearing and getting you to your default state of love. Yeah, that's beautiful. And we find that, um, well, we're always open to more stuff coming up. That's another thing. But we find that we have less and less coming up because we can clear things in the moment. But I think we're both really willing for more love to bring up more unlike itself so that we can just continue to be closer. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a thing in meditation sometimes when I'm teaching people about meditation. Some people don't want to meditate because thoughts keep coming up. 
I let them know, well, that's kind of <laughs> that's the what object. happens. <laughs> yeah, so they come up, that's training you to deal with those and let them go by. Unless they come up, you can't learn to meditate more. Unless you start making the mistakes, you can't become more successful. Yeah. So things coming up for us, we realized at some point, well, as these things come up for us, because we talk about them, they're gone. Yeah. They're they, not things that keep coming up. Exactly. And if they keep coming up, that's because they're not done yet. Yeah, because we haven't talked about it until it's yeah. done. So I know in previous relationships, things would keep coming up and coming up and coming up and coming up. And it would seem like such an irritating, horrible thing, like it seems so wrong. And from my perspective now, being in a relationship that works, I would say those things keep coming up because it's just uh, the universe saying to you, finish this. Here's another opportunity. Finish this. Here's another opportunity. You know, and once you finish it, then you get that clearing again. It's beautiful. If you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have an amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.